this is Siddhu, Senior Lecturer in Chemistry, Sri Chaitanya Educational Institutions, Dr. B.S. Rao Nagar Campus, Eka Goshala Campus. Today, I am here to discuss about how to study organic chemistry for NEET. Now, let us discuss about organic. So, for organic chemistry, do the NCRT sufficient? That is the question by many of them. In organic chemistry, we strongly suggest that you need to focus only on NCRT. But for organic chemistry, to understand the basics, NCRT is not sufficient. We can say that in 11th class organic chemistry, okay, that NCRT information is not sufficient. You need to go through a bit of details. For that, the class notes is very, very important. 11th class NCRT, especially the IUPAC nomenclature, we need more examples to understand. In NCRT, they do give only brief information. Not only nomenclature, Structural isomerism, if you take it, they simply give few lines. You can see that, for example, the organic chemistry basics, GOC, the first chapter. Here, the NCRT is not sufficient for the basics. You need to go through the NCRT, but class notes is must you need to listen to the class teacher properly. So, the class notes is very important because we need more examples to understand organic chemistry for the beginner. So, these NCRT examples are not sufficient, I can tell. This gives an information which is precise, but it is just uh, precise or concise information, but we need little comprehensive information to understand the basics of organic chemistry. So, they give nomenclature, few examples. Yes, you need to cover the examples in NCRT. All examples in NCRT you need to cover. This is my suggestion. All examples in NCRT you need to cover. But something more you need to learn from the class notes. This is about nomenclature. If you see benzene compound, one few they have given. If you are a repeater, in each chapter of class 11th and 12th, for example, in 11th hydrocarbons, Nomenclature of alkenes, some examples are there. Nomenclature of alkenes, some examples are there in alkenes chapter. Nomenclature of alkynes, some examples are there. Now, 12th class, first chapter, hello alkenes. All the nomenclature examples in NCRT starting page, second page or starting page or NCRT exercise problems in hello alkenes, you need to collect and write the names. Next, alcohols, phenols, ethers. All the examples related to nomenclature in NCRT first two pages of each subtopic, alcohols, phenols, ethers, you need to collect. Similarly, for next chapter, aldehydes, ketones, carboxylic acids and amine salts. First chapter has some names. Those names, common names, IUPAC names, you need to collect and make a file, make a note. Then you will be perfect in the nomenclature. These first year examples are not sufficient. That is what, as a faculty, we do collect all those examples and we present to, to the students. Next after nomenclature about isomerism. Isomerism also in NCRT, we do not have much information. That is the problem. Look at them. They just mentioned what type of isomerism. What is chain isomerism? What is positional isomerism? That is all. They do not mention anything. So, therefore, I suggest you to collect more examples. Okay. As a faculty, we do give more examples and we do practice. May we do make the students to practice more examples. This is my suggestion. NCRT is not enough for nomenclature and isomerism. Even for GOC also, I mean to say the uh, nature of okay, electronic effects, you can say that. The examples are not sufficient. They give clear idea how the effects do take place. But the examples are not enough or illustrations are not enough to understand the depth of the topic of electronic effects, inductive effect, mesomeric effect, resonance. Of course, you need to go through all the points in NCRT. Beyond NCRT, we need to go little. For example, some points resonance, how the resonance takes place. These points, okay, 
you need to go through obviously okay but some extra information is required for us hyper conjugation and all these and then after that types of reactions also very basic level only then next if you go for the methods of purification of organic compounds strictly ncrt we need to go through. all the lines in ncrt are important methods of purification of organic compounds sublimation crystallization distillation differential extraction chromatography every line in ncrt is important not only the purification we need to go through ncrt strictly for qualitative as well as quantitative analysis i suggest you to strictly go for ncrt for qualitative as well as quantitative analysis strictly ncrt not no need to go beyond ncrt again i am telling iupsc nomenclature collect the examples from class 11th and 12th textbooks and then collect the examples for isomerism from class 11th and 12th textbook also get the notes from the lecturers that notes you have to go through thoroughly and then practice for isomerism goc you need to go through ncrt because how the phenomena takes place is explained neatly in ncrt but the examples are not sufficient the examples are not sufficient so therefore lecture notes class notes is very much important for a upsc isomerism and goc and what about purification strictly ncrt strictly ncrt and then what about qualitative analysis and quantitative analysis again strictly ncrt we need to go through detection of elements and everything strictly ncrt we need to follow even the questions the percentage estimations everything you can go through the ncrt only so this is about the first chapter goc general organic chemistry and the next the next chapter hydrocarbons regarding hydrocarbon chapter regarding the preparation methods again we have an issue with uh, ncrt preparation methods and properties of hydrocarbons you see that a minute regarding the hydrocarbons the preparation methods of alkanes not sufficient we need to go through ncrt but they are not sufficient they are not sufficient okay and what about properties yes you can go through ncrt again and they are not sufficient for all kinds we need to go through the class notes because class notes have vast amount of exam vast number of examples to give clear idea what about physical properties yes you need to go through ncrt and collect the data from this table for example i will tell one thing melting point if you see Boiling points, okay. Melting points, one interesting finding you see from the NCRT data. Propane methane, which has more melting point. Generally, what we guess, what we guess, methane has less melting point than propane. If you see the data from NCRT, look at this. The boiling, the melting point of methane is 90 degrees and propane is 85 degrees. So, therefore, for physical properties, we can depend on the NCRT data. NCRT data. Next. chemical properties mechanism briefly they have given but these are not sufficient i am telling for a hydrocarbons chapter but these reactions these reactions you must learn including the temperature also they have mentioned some temperatures pressures everything so obviously in class notes we do go little beyond this so you don't need to worry to go through the class notes and conformational isomerism that we know alkenes also same story alkenes also the preparation methods are properties from ncrt are not sufficient for alkenes and alkynes also benzene i can say that also benzene everything you should better i suggest you to go through the class notes including ncrt ncrt we need to go through class notes is very much important obviously we do cover everything whatever there in the ncrt okay and then if you see that last okay some suppose carcinogens for example this green green box okay which causes cancer these things they are generally we nobody focuses 
But I suggest you better you go through them also. Want to bend on the scene and its structure and this. If you are aiming for all India first rank, you should not leave no stone untouched. That is my suggestion. Now, let's go to the 12th class organic chemistry. 12th class organic chemistry, if you see, I suggest, I suggest NCRT, every line is important. In 11th class, to get some strong foundation, you need to depend on the lecture notes, obviously. But in 12th class, we do not need to go, not a single point beyond NCRT. Especially if you go for these chapters like halo alkanes, halo arenes, everything you need to focus only on NCRT. Suppose in organic chemistry 12th class, if there is a chance of 12 questions, 11th class around 6 questions, 18 questions, if I tell, generally telling, I mean, 60 percent share for, 60 or 70 percent share for 12th class chemistry. Out of 12th questions, 10 to 11 questions do come from NCRT, NCRT context. We do frame the questions from the NCRT only, NCRT lines only. So, therefore, I strongly suggest just focus only on NCRT reactions line to line, line to line, not a single point you do not need to go for more than NCRT. And also you can do the problems in NCRT, in text problems, exercises, if you are perfect in them, 12th class organic chemistry, you are done with the 12th class organic chemistry and also total organic chemistry I can say that, because in 12th class NCRT all topics cover the basics also, basic strength, basic strengths. GOC, carbocation stability, everything is covered in the 12th class. So, it is highly comprehensive. So, it is a single word or single statement I can say. 11th class, little beyond NCRT we need to go through for nomenclature, isomerism and GOC. But 12th class, I strongly suggest focus completely should be on NCRT only. So, this is the, okay, the important tip for organic chemistry I can give. That's all for today. Thank you. Thank you very much.